Hi students, welcome to Chemistry Tutorial. In this video, let's see Class 6 Science Chapter 8, A Journey Through States of Water, NCRT Solutions and some extra questions and answers. First, we'll see some NCRT questions and answers. NCRT Solutions, question number 1, which of the following best describes condensation? Four options are given. First one, the conversion of water into its vapor state. Second one, the process of water changing from a liquid into gaseous states. Third one, the formation of clouds from tiny water droplets. Fourth one, the conversion of water vapor into its liquid state the correct answer is option 4 the conversion of water vapor into its liquid state question number 2 identify in which of the given process evaporation is very important question number 1 coloring with crayons b water colors c acrylic colors d pencil colors option correct option answer b water colors second one writing on paper with a pencil and ink ballpoint pen the correct answer ink pen Question number 3. We see green colored plastic grass at many places these days. Space around natural grass feels cooler than space around the plastic grass. Can you find out why? Answer. Space around natural grass feels cooler because it absorbs moisture. Natural grass allow for the process of evaporation which absorbs heat and cools the surrounding air. Question number 4. Give examples of liquid other than water which evaporates. Answer. Alcohol, petrol, sanitizer and acetone. Question number 5. Fans move air around create a cooling sensation. It might seem strange to use your fan to dry wet clothes since fans usually make things cooler not warmer. Normally when water requires heat not cold air. What do you think about this? Answer. Fans move the air faster around clothes and help to dry faster. Question number 6. Usually when sludge is removed from drains it is left it heaps next to the drain for 3 to 4 days. Afterward it is transferred to a garden or a field where it can be used as manure. This approach reduces transpiration, cost of a sludge and enhances the safety of individuals handling it. Reflect upon it and explain how. Answer. What Water from the sludge evaporates with the time, then it is transported to a garden or a field. It can be used as manure, making it handling and transpiration easier. Question number 7. Observe the activities in your house for a day. Identify the activities that involve evaporation. How does understanding the process of evaporation help us in our daily activities? Answer. Drying of wet, wet clothes, mobbing of wet floor. We can smell the cooked food without entering the kitchen. Washed utensils dry up after some time. Question number 8. How is water present in the solid state in nature? Answer. Water present in the solid states are ice, snow and frost. Question number 9. Reflect on the statement. Water is a responsibility before it is a right. Share your thoughts. Answer. Only a small portion of water available on the earth is fit for use by plants and animals and humans. Most of the water is in the ocean and it cannot be used directly. We use water for drinking and also for many other activities. The number of people using water is increasing with a rise in population. The increasing demand for water causes its shortage in many parts of the world. So it is very important to use water wisely and avoid wasting it. Question number 10. The seat of two-wheeler parked on a sunny day has become very hot. How can you cool it down? Answer. Cover it with a cloth. Park your vehicles in shade to protect your seat from direct sunlight. Sprinkle water on it. The evaporating water will help to lower the temperature. Use sunshade or cover. Next, we will see some extra questions and answers. First one, what are the three states of matter? The three states of matter are solid, liquid and gaseous. Question number two, how does water in the puddle disappears? Water in the puddle disappears due to evaporation. Question number three, what does mean by water vapor? The water gets converted into its gaseous state is called water vapor. Question number 4. Define the process of evaporation. The process of evaporation of water into its vapor state is called evaporation. Question number 5. Give some examples of evaporation in day-to-day -day life. Answer. Drying of wet clothes, mobbed floor and sweat on a body are some examples of evaporation. Question number 6. Hand sanitizer disappears as you rub it on your hands. What happens to it? Answer. Hand sanitizer disappears due to evaporation. Question number 7. What does mean by condensation? Answer. The process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid state is called condensation. Question number 8. How does condensation take place? Answer. Water vapor from the air come in contact with the cold surface of the glass tumbler and gets converted into water droplets on the glass tumbler through condensation. Question number 9. What are the different states of water? Answer. In solid state it exists at ice. On heating, the ice melts and gets converted into liquid state as water. On further heating, water gets converted into gaseous state as water vapor. 
Question number 10. What are the properties of solids? Answer. Solids are fixed shape respective of the container in which it is placed. Solids does not flow or spread. Question number 11. Write the properties of liquids. Answer. Liquids does not have a fixed shape but it takes the shape of the container. Volume of the water remains constant. Water has an ability to flow and spread. Question number 12. Write the properties of gases. Answer. Gases exhibit a property of spreading out in the entire available space. Gases do not possess a fixed shape. It can spread and flow. Question number 13. Give some examples of liquids. Answer. Milk, oil, juices, petrol, sanitizer. Question number 14. How can we quickly change ice into a liquid state water? Answer. If we have to change ice into water and water into water vapor, we have to supply heat to it. Question number 15. Can you think of any other examples besides water that can change from solid to liquid? Answer. Wax, oil and ghee. Question number 16. What is melting? The process of conversion of solid into its liquid state is called melting. Question number 17. What is freezing? Okay, the process of conversion of liquid into its solid state is called freezing. Question number 18. What are the factors affecting evaporation? Answer. Increase in surface area, increase in temperature, increase in wind speed and decrease in humidity. Question number 9. Why is the water in the earthen part so cold? Answer. Water seeps through the surface of the earthen part and evaporates which imports a cooling effect on the water. That's why water in the earthen part so cold. Question number 20. What are the other examples of cooling effect? Answer. Sprinkling water on the floor or the roof during summer to cool it. Question number 21. Why does air containing water vapor go up in the atmosphere? That is a thin layer of air that surrounds earth. Answer. Water vapor is lighter than air, so the water vapor go up in the atmosphere. Question number 22. Explain the process of water cycle with a diagram. There are four processes. First one is evaporation, condensation, precipitation and collection. First one, evaporation. What happens uh, during the evaporation? Evaporation, water from the ocean and sea is turned into vapor. Next, condensation, water rises, cools and form clouds. Third one is precipitation, water falls back to the earth as rain. Fourth one, collection, water collected in the river, lakes and oceans. Next, question number 23, how does water change its state? Answer, water changes its states on heating or cooling. Question number 24, what are the conditions necessary for evaporation? Answer, conditions which make the evaporation faster or slower or expose the area, humidity, air movement. That's all. The question and answers it gets over. If you want more videos, like, share and subscribe Chem Free Tutorial. Thank you.